And a beautiful day for football here at St James's Park. A warm welcome to Newcastle upon Tyne. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And there are a few more enjoyable days on the football calendar than opening day in the Premier League. It's Newcastle United up against Arsenal. Well, thank you, Derek. Brilliant atmosphere here today. All that hard slog in pre-season. All aim for this game. First game of the season. All that preparation is for this. It's for this 90 minutes. Focus on it. Get the three points. Move on to the next one. Looking forward to it. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Martin Dubravka is the goalkeeper. Vinicius Jr. starts with John Joe Shelby in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. So the starting 11 for Arsenal. Bernd Reno gets the nod in goal. David Luiz starts alongside Socrates in central defence. Javi Martinez plays alongside Lucas Torreira in the middle of midfield. And leading the line today is the hard to defend against Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And they kick off here. They've regained possession. Torreira. He takes aim. Staunch rear guard action. Almiron. Weston McKenney. Well, the fans have been wondering how this might go. It is his debut game. What should we be looking for from him today, Lee? Yeah, big expectations on the lad. He just loves to hug the touchline, isolate the fullback one-on-one, -on -one, and that's what he's been brought here to do, provide lots of creativity and service to the forwards. Looking forward to seeing him today. Can they take advantage of the situation? The cross is on. Cutting in. What can he do from this position? Surely... A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, don't you love to see this perfect attacking football. He dribbles past him as if he isn't there. What a goal. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, the manager's showing signs of frustration. They need to improve if they're going to get something out of this game, Derek. Back underway. Arsenal with the lead. Tierney. Ball with Shelby. Sam Maxima. Targets available, cross comes in. Great save following the close range efforts. Look how close he gets to the goalkeeper. It's a really, really good save in the end. It's a short one. Targets to aim at. Now they couldn't take advantage of the position they were in. I believe there's been a goal in the Wolves game. Let's hear about it from Allen. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 
18 minutes played, 1-0. Will he finish? And David Luiz gets in the way. Ozil. Could be a chance to break here. Marvellous pass from Mesut Ozil. Pepe. Bayerin. Fed over towards the back post. Weston McKenney. Vinicius Junior and breaking at pace with Menace. And it's with McKenney. Vinicius Junior. He's beaten his man. And good work to deny the chance. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. And let's get an update from Molyneux because there's been a goal there. Alan McAnally with the details. It's a second goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 30 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Arsenal struggling in terms of possession, but to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Making sure nothing untoward happened. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. And Yedlin here. Ball with Gale. They've regained possession. Aubameyang. And it's Aubameyang. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. And played short. And he takes it on. Well, first-rate goalkeeping. Oh, he can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. And the short option preferred. Giving it a try. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Ozil. Torreira. Giving them the gift of possession. Vinicius Jr. Can't miss, surely! Goodness, he was wrong. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, you might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Lee. Both teams are ready. It's Arsenal who get the second half underway.
A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Arsenal have given it away. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Dangerous looking attack. Read it superbly to take back possession. Arsenal's free kick here. He's now got to be extra careful. A verbal warning rather than a caution here. Yeah, the next one, he knows where he's going in the book. trying with that free kick but the goalkeeper had it covered all the way Lascelles just a reminder we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV it's Newcastle United facing Norwich City yeah it's very there's a slide draw pass reflex action par excellence from Bernd Leno Playing it short. Don't forget we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Burnley. Yeah, Derek, should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. Rose. And blocked by Socrates. This is Ozil, now Lacazette. I believe there's been a goal in the Leicester City game. Let's hear about it from Alan McAdally. It's the second goal for Leicester City. 65 minutes played, 2-2. Two -two. Thanks, Alan. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. This is Ozil. Well, we've been wondering amongst ourselves for a while whether or not this would go through. Leroy Sané has completed his move to Barcelona. Well, what does £65 million get you? I'm hearing that's about the figure they paid for him. He's worth a lot more than that, I think. I think he's a real treasure. Let's see how he performs over the next few games. Ozil. Nicolas Pepe. Lacazette. And that was a very fine read. But a shocking pass, really. Inside the last quarter of an hour. A goal has gone in at Molyneux. Let's hear more about it from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 75 minutes played. Lacazette! Goalkeeping of the very highest order. Oh, it was a great shot as well. Great shot, great save. Substitution time. it is corner put in by Ozil cleared away gliding through the gears crossing possibilities and they'll have to throw it back
back in play. Danny Ceballos. He read the cross, but now must clatter it clear. Well, just listen to the crowd. They want... It would have been a wonderful scoring opportunity, but offside by a whisker. Well, we often criticise the officials, but he got that spot on. But apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off. To confirm, Wolves did find the net in that game. And they are leading by three goals to two. And now they have the ball back. Bentaleb read it superbly to take back possession. Now Lacazette. Ozil. It's with Danny Ceballos. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Well, listen to the atmosphere in here. The fans are doing their bit, trying to spur them on for the equaliser. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities later. And the referee blows for full time. 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 